What's up everybody, 915 Mang here showing you my new fixture, the Reef Breeders Photon version 2. I got the 50 inch model. As you know, um, I had the T5s on my uh, 120 gallon tank, which was the 6 bulb. I was about to go ahead and buy some uh, new bulbs, but I decided that I wanted to go with the uh, LED. I was going to do some type of uh, heat sink and with my own DIY LEDs, but then I started looking at the Reef Breeders Photon uh, layout of their LEDs and I was like, you know what, I liked it. One thing that I really liked is that it's not so much white. It's more of like a blue color that I like. Another thing that was pretty important to me is I didn't want to have to buy any separate type of controllers. I didn't want to buy any hanging kits. I wanted everything to be included. As you can see, the hanging kit right there, it has three points to uh, harness and everything's a uh, track, which is pretty cool. As you progress in the hobby, you're going to learn that what works for you and what doesn't work for you. For me, one thing that I always look at is the use of a single plug. Um, this light only has one plug and uh, it's 50 inches long, uh, which means before I was using different kind of LEDs and each LED, I had about four LEDs and each of those lights took up a plug. So by this being a single plug, it saved me a lot of uh, cord management, wire management, um, also some spaces, uh, high value commodity for a lot of us reefers. I'm sure a lot of you can agree with it. And another thing that I like is that this light came with a controller. Um, I don't know if it uses Wi-Fi. It didn't actually use a password, but it does use some kind of RF signal. And uh, the cool thing is I didn't have to hook up my laptop to it to program it. When I did program it, I programmed it sitting at my kitchen table of relax. Um, another thing though, it is chargeable. You do have to keep it charged. But if the battery runs out on the uh, controller, the light will continue running its uh, program that you have set up. One of the most important things for me, switching from T5s back to LEDs, is that the fact that the LED had to be Cree. Now the thing with uh, Cree is Cree is the industry's most rigorous testing. You know, Cree doesn't just let anybody use their word. Um, it's uh, selective on who can use it. And like I said, it's the industry standard. But you don't have to take my word for that. Go to Cree website, read it yourself, look at the horticulture, and you'll see that the Reef Breeders is using all the Cree uh, LEDs. Um, as far as LED light bulbs it goes, has 88 LEDs and then six channels and all of them are controllable from 1% all the way up to 100%. Programming the Photon was a piece of cake. It has three modes that I really don't recommend using too much. I can actually see you using it. It has a sunny, a cloudy mode, and a moon mode. Uh, you might want to use the sunny mode for if you have to do some kind of maintenance when your tank is off and you don't want to mess with the program. Uh, moon mode, if somebody's coming over and you want to sell some frags, of course you're going to want the blues on. But for me, I'm running the uh, custom mode. And the reason why I'm running the custom mode is it's just I set it, I forget it, and I let it run its program. That way the corals get used to it. I will tell you that my peak... Now this is just a peak. The maximum that I'm running starting off is 30%. And the reason why is because LEDs are very powerful. Now, as you guys know, if you this is your first time following my channel, you'll see that I'm always changing things up. You know, I went from LED to T5, and now I'm going from T5 back to LED. So I've dealt with a lot of companies. And one thing that I really think is important that you guys should be checking out is the warranty. Um, I was reading the frequently asked questions in their warranty, and I noticed that it came with a two-year USA warranty. Now, I don't know if you've ever had anything fail on you, but most companies, the last company that I bought my auto top off from, well, my very first auto top off anyways, I had to pay my own shipping to that company, you know, and it, it was their auto top off that failed right at the year mark. Um, their warranty, like I said, comes with two years. And these guys will pay the shipping to you and to them and then back to you. So they're going to pay for everything. Uh, they're going to pay for you to ship it to them. And then they're going to pay to ship it to you. Um, any parts and things like that, they covered. One thing that I noticed on the frequently asked questions was, I mean, if you have your light running in a canopy with no vents or fans on, then that's your fault. And then that says they won't cover that. When you're buying a new light, you want to look at how many watts that this LED could put out. Um, this one running at full power can run 220 watts, 110 watts of half power, 
and then uh, metal highlight comparison is 250 watts. I've never used metal highlights, but I know a lot of metal highlight users have switched from the metal highlights to LEDs for the reason of the heat that it produces and the electricity uh, energy consumption that it does use. Um, running these lights so far, I haven't noticed the fans kick on, and that's because I'm only running them at 30%. I am going to go ahead and start bumping it up to 40%. Then next week I'll start dump, uh, bumping it up to 45 and then 50 I don't think I'll go past 60%. Um, but uh, as far as the ramp up time, I am using it in the hour increment. And I know you can do the half hour increment. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and be quiet now. I'm going to let you look at why I went back to LED and so you guys can see for yourself. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching, guys, and you guys take care. Like, subscribe, guys.